Hi there, it's Clive here again and we're back with a uh, solo. So in my previous video you would have seen I would have done the the solo powder uh, here which I quite liked. It's the vanilla uh, flavour um, and it's sort of a nice sort of reasonable vanilla flavour. There's sweetener in it, it's sort of a bit of an aftertaste but uh, generally I quite like that. Um, but today we are concentrating on their what they call their sort of solo on the go. Uh, which is these grab-and-go uh, bottles, a bit like feed, uh, with the powder already um, in them, and then you fill them up, uh, give them a shake, and hopefully you're having a delicious uh, shake on the go. So we're going to be reviewing uh, these today, uh, strawberry flavour and the chocolate flavour, and I'll also be doing their little uh, solo bar as well. So those are the things we're going to be looking at today. Just a reminder, that a solo is like a lot of these, all these other uh, meal replacement drinks that I've kind of been reviewing. A nutritional complete meal available in different flavours, providing all your carbohydrates, fats, your proteins, your vitamins, all everything that your body uh, needs in an easy, convenient form. So um, we know where we're at. So what's in it? As I said before, with the solo meal, you've got here, and it says here, oats, pea protein. Coconut flour, rice protein, flaxseed, vitamin and mineral blend, maltodextrin, guar gum, xanthan natural flavourings, and a natural sweetener option. It says natural sweetener option, uh, it's sucralose. As somebody pointed out to me, that's not really natural, but uh, there you go. So without further ado, let's crack on and try the strawberry flavour here, solo on the go. These are £2.49. And each one contains 367 calories. Okay, 367 calories. Um, I think the idea is you have two of these and then a sort of an, an evening meal or something. So maybe one grab it, grab and go for breakfast, maybe one for lunch, and then an ordinary uh, evening meal. That's the kind of principle behind it. As I say, about 363 calories. Three, and this is 367 calories, so around that mark. Right, it says here all we need to do is add 300 mils of water to your Solo on the go bottle and shake well to 20 to 30 seconds. Now, one, if you're on the go, I'm not carrying around a measuring jug with me. So that's, and there doesn't seem to be a, a mark on here. So we'll work out where that mark is. I'll measure it out because obviously I'm in the kitchen today. But generally, it would help if there was a mark. And maybe, the, maybe there is a mark and I'm just not seeing it. Um, but we'll see. The second thing is I experienced with feed, uh, which is a similar version where you just add the, the water and go as it were. Um, it can be quite, the, occasionally you can get some clumps in it. So it will be interesting to see how soluble it actually is. And the other point is with feed, it recommended you sort of pour the water in at an angle like that uh, rather than straight down there. And I think that was to help kind of eradicate sort of clumping at the bottom. So also the other thing is give it a shake is my tip as well just to sort of loosen up the powder a bit um, and then fill with water. So I'm going to go and do that um, and then we'll come back and we're going to start with the strawberry flavour um, see what the experience is um, and then we'll go for the chocolate flavour. So I'll be right back. Okay so I filled it up with 300 mils of water as you can see it's probably at the point where um, it starts to curve in, uh, narrow down there. It's probably the 300 mil if you want to guide generally. But it'd be useful if they'd put the little mark on the bottom or something, put the label at the right level. Then it says anyway, shake for 20 to 30 seconds. Me and B, uh, Pedant, I'm going to ask Google to help me. Google, set the timer for 30 seconds. Okay, Google, stop. Okay, so I've shaken it for 30 seconds. Now, what I often find uh, a good test of whether how well it's sort of mixed is if there's any sort of dry bits at the bottom. And if you can see there, um, there are some gloopy bits there. I'm trying to get rid of those. But that's always the, the problem I find with the, the bottles is that it doesn't always um, mix up. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. So that's 30 seconds. Let's give it a taste. It's 
Smell first, of course. Yeah. Sweet strawberry set smell. It's got. A, it doesn't taste. It's sort of like all a sort of artificially strawberry smell to it, but it's definitely a nice strawberry smell to that. It's a bit granular, but delicious. A delicious in the same way that a strawberry milkshake is delicious, rather than sort of a natural, you know, and I mean a Nesquik strawberry milkshake is delicious as a kid. Again, it's a UK reference, I apologise. Might be in other countries, but when I was a kid, just Nesquik milkshake, delicious. It's a bit like that, which ain't no bad thing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's sweet, but not too, not overpowering, not sickly sweet. I mean, it is sweet, but in a nice way, that strawberry sweetness way. But it is a bit grainy uh, in places, but it is delicious. So, um, I think in the powder form, if I got to blitz it, um, I think I'd find it probably a bit, a bit smoother. But as a bottle on the go, I mean, it's not too bad. It's just, as I say, you do get this clumping of stuff that, that doesn't quite um, mix up with the rest. It's not as good as A, blitzing, and it's also not as good as uh, the shaker bottles that you, you get with the other ones I've got with the other ones. Um, but in terms of convenience, um, it's very handy. And delicious. I like that. Very nice. I mean, it's a, not a great taste, can't knock the taste. Um, if you like sweet strawberry uh, taste, there's no sourness to that strawberry, all pure sweet um, strawberry taste. Very nice, very easy to drink, um, certainly as a breakfast you could uh, grab that and go, no problem. Um, and price wise £2.49, that's not too bad really compared to some of the other products that I've tasted. Um, Solo are doing a big push at the moment um, in the UK. Um, I guess that's why I keep getting lots of ads in my Facebook stream for it at the moment. Um, and they're doing lots of good deals, so it's well worth checking out. It's wearesolo.com, wearesolo.com, I'll leave a link uh, down in the bottom. Bit of a, a sweetener aftertaste, but not a, but, but a, it's that sweet aftertaste, it's not that sort of sweetener aftertaste, if that makes sense. So there is an aftertaste, but it's an aftertaste of sweetness, not an aftertaste of sweetener, uh, just to, to clarify. But, but very nice. Let's have another go. This time with the, uh, I'm gonna try the, the chocolate one and I'm gonna do it without measuring it out. I'm gonna measure it to where I found um, was the right kind of level, which is say is about, about there. And we'll give it a go. I'm gonna give this a shake, separate the powder, and we'll see if we can make this one, um, shake this one up even better. Okay, we're back. And we've got the, uh, the chocolate flavor one here. And you can see from the bottom, I think I, I cracked the issue with the, the clumping at the bottom. The idea, I think what you need to do is make, when you, before you fill it, sort of tap it at the bottom so there's no sort of stuff there already, because uh, that's where it sort of congregates, as it were, at the end. So if you make sure when, you, when you're loosening the powder before you fill it, that there's no sort of powder sticking on the bottom, and then fill it at an angle, as I said before, uh, and I think, as you say, that's perfect shape there, um, and I've eradicated any of the clumpy bits, um, and I've sort of filled it up. My perhaps I could have filled it up a bit more, uh, a bit higher, but again, I wasn't using a measure this time. I was just trying to gauge it. Um, but this is the chocolate flavour, so let's have a, a taste. As people who watch my um, YouTube directly will know, uh, I won't go on about it too much, but I'm not a massive fan of chocolate drinks per se, but um, some of these I quite like. Um, so this will be interesting since, since I like the vanilla and I've liked the strawberry. I've still got the strawberry taste slightly in my mouth. Anyway, here we go. Yeah. It's more a cocoa powder. More cocoa powder smell than a chocolate smell. So what, when you used to make hot cocoa when I was a little kid and the powder, the smell of the powder that's what it smells of.
yeah, it's just sort of like a, a subtle milky chocolate. Yeah. A subtle, it, it's a cocoa powder. It's got that cocoa powder taste rather than a sort of a, a chocolate drink and it's not too thick. Even though I didn't, I think I filled it slightly less than the other one. Less grainy than the, the other one. I think I was more successful at shaking this for some reason. Yeah, it's not an overpowering chocolatey flavour. I'll give it that. But it's quite sweet. They've all got that signature sweetness which is coming from that uh, sucralose. Um, but they avoid the sickening sort of aftertaste, I think. Again, very drinkable as a breakfast on a go or a lunch on the go. These are quite handy. Grab and go, stick them in your bag. You're getting all your sort of vitamins and nutrients and uh, carbohydrates, protein, etc. that you need all in a convenient bottle. Um, of course, there is a question about how environmentally friendly it is every time you're taking a, a lunch and you're adding another plastic bottle. Whereas at least with these, uh, you're using a reusable bottle or can you know shaker um, and slightly more environmentally friendly but you've got to balance that off with the convenience uh, so that's really sort of down to your personal preference i'd say two pound 49 on the go not it's not bad considering this is your lunch okay or your breakfast uh, and if you're used to getting a sandwich and it's cost you know four quid or whatever then uh, this is pretty you know good good money and uh, probably much healthier for you because you're guaranteed you're getting for the 360 odd calories that this is going to give you that it's maximizing those calories by giving you all the nutrients and proteins and vitamins that you um, you're going to need um, for sort of that size meal so overall yeah another one not too bad at all I could easily grab and go and have that for a breakfast to be honest whether I kind of had the same flavour all the time of these, I think it, I'd find it a bit sickly because that that sweetener aftertaste is remaining in my mouth. I can still sort of taste it. So whilst it's quite nice and fine to grab and go, I think if you had the, you know, constantly all of these, uh, it might get a bit um, yucky. But uh, as a sort of a grab and go when you need, when you need it, I think that's um, per this perfectly fine. Vanilla is still my favourite, I'll be honest with you, out of those, um, I find the, vin the vanilla the most sort of subtle and uh, tasty. So that's not too bad. Next, I guess, we'll have a nibble on the old um, Solo Bar. Okay, so what's the Solo Bar all about? Solo is 100% uh, vegan and allergen free, whilst providing complete protein and great source of fibre. Uh, it's good for the healthy bowel, weight management, uh, reducing your risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes, diabetes healthy fats and vital in the diet. Um, monosaturated, contains a monosaturated and polyunsaturated um, fats along with the 26 essential vitamins and minerals that you need. Now, in a bar, that takes the form of 240 calories. So this is 240 calories. So let's just compare it in size. 240 calories and you compare it in size to say uh, a Jake bar, the vitamin bar, which is going to give you 335 calories. Okay, so this is much, this is uh, slightly less calories, well 100, 100 less calories but you can see by the size. So this really is a sort of a, a, a snack, an in-between meals um, snack if you like. Um, price wise, let's have a look. Price-wise, two forty-nine, um, which seems quite a lot for that that size. But uh, again, uh, a useful snack to have on the go um, if you're travelling or just need a sort of in-between um, snack before you're, you know, or a meal before you're in the after mid-afternoon before your evening meal or something like that. Then that's quite good. Um, I've gone for the Solo chocolate salted caramel, and they also do strawberry flavour one as well. So we're going to try the um, chocolate salted caramel. I do love a bit of chocolate salted caramel, so we'll see. Now th these bars, uh, these ones, the vitamin bars from Jake, are really dense, uh, as are the Huel ones. I know Huel are bringing out new bars, and I'll be looking at those eventually. 
this is not there is it's sort of in a sealed plastic bag it's very bizarre anyway not a conventional wrapper that's all I'm saying right it's quite dense and it looks quite dry and you can see there it's similar sort of that uh, texture of the the Jake bar and the Huel bar, I mean basically what they do is just condense everything together and then put some sort of um, stuff in there to make it all stick together. Um, let's have a go. Quite, having said that, it's quite crumbly once you break it up. Cr crumbs everywhere, annoying. Okay. I'm not I'm not getting the chocolate. I'm getting a salted caramel. Which is weird. With the sweetener taste. I don't know whether that's because I've over I've overdosed on the sweetener and all the others. I can see the salt in it. Yeah. This is weird. Looking at the picture on the website and looking at this, I, I think there's a distinct lack of chocolate. Chocolate salted caramel, that's what it says on the... Yeah, I'm not getting any chocolate. They sent me the right one. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. I'm not sure about this one actually to be honest. I'm just getting a sort of salty caramel taste which is weird. Definitely needs the chocolate there. Yeah I'm gonna, I think I'm going to pass on this one. Sorry Solo. Salty caramel and then all the sweetness stuff. Let's have a look what's in it. Plant based, little vegans, gluten, dairy free, tastes delicious. Tastes weird. Almond butter, almond flour, concentrated grape juice, rice, starch, gluten free, pre protein, minerals, cookies and cream flavouring. It says cookies and cream, well, why? Cookies and cream flavouring, why have we got cho chocolate salted caramel? And it says cookies and cream flavouring. Very strange. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. It's very sweet, and then that kind of weird salt, the saltiness, like, because salt brings out the flavours, um, brings out flavours more, it's really bringing out the, the sweetener flavour. Um, and there seems to be a distinct lack of chocolate in there. And it looks different from the picture. I don't know if there's meant to be a layer of chocolate on top, because there wasn't a layer of chocolate on that. Yeah, I think there should be a layer of chocolate on top. But there wasn't. So that's very strange. Anyway, there goes my review. Um, Solo, I think it's priced well. A UK company, they're doing a big push at the moment, uh, beginning of the 2019. Um, when I sent my last review, they mentioned that they were doing a big promotion at the moment and trying to really push it. I love the vanilla flavour in the in the ready-made, in the powder and stuff. Um, the bottles are fine and stuff, but if I was going to go for anything, I'd probably uh, veer towards the vanilla flavour. Um, this, I think, is missing something. And it could well actually be missing the chocolate. Um, I don't know. So it tastes a bit weird. I'm not convinced about that one. But apart from that, if you want to find out more details, check out the details below. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification button so you know when I'm putting these videos up. Um, and thanks for all the support so far. Any comments, write them down below. Please like this video. All that kind of stuff. Um, and I'll be back with some more later.